What's up guys, Tom Rock here. It's some more Minecraft survival games. We're playing on Breeze Island. Now, today I'm going to be talking about a somewhat controversial topic. People will have different and varying opinions, and I respect that. So basically, before you go leaving your comments arguing one thing or another or hating me, I'd like you to watch the whole video because some people seem to just make comments without knowing any prior knowledge, and I decide, hey, maybe I could inform you a little bit with this video. So basically, um, if you guys aren't familiar with this situation, there is basically, it's... Joy Graceffa and Stacy says versus mods. I'm not going to say which particular mods because I don't want you going into going into a server saying I hate you. And uh, well, that's part of the fact. And the other part of the fact is that I don't actually necessarily know every single person who's been involved with it. But I also know a whole bunch, like a couple of names that seem to keep reoccurring, as well as other names where they show up like once and they don't show up anymore. So I'm going to do myself a favor and not point out any names, mostly because people might hate me for it, as well as some people might appreciate it, I don't know. So, basically, uh, this problem emerged a little while ago when um, people seem to be following Joy Graceffa and Stacy Says into every single lobby they go in. Now, the way it seems is it, these people have no lives and they're constantly waiting for uh, Joy Graceffa to show up in the game, that's not really true, since uh, Joey seem, uh, always records several videos at, at a time, anywhere from around two to four. Uh, that's just basically from personal experience. I don't actually know exactly how many records at one time. It could be more, it could be less, I don't really know. So he records a couple of videos at a time. So that can explain for people showing up multiple times, because all people have to do is go into the lobby, look at a sign seeing, hmm, why is there 24 people in that one and no one's leaving? Obviously because Joey's in it, and I could go in there and play with him. <laughs> that sounded very disturbing, but uh, yeah. B uh, but basically, uh, the way it seems that mods seem to show up more than other players is because they have this special ability called Slash Records. Now you may be saying, hey, Tomahawk, I have the ability to do Slash Records as well. Well, <laughs> see what I did there? Um, slash Records is an ability that is everyone is available to have, but it's special if you are a mod or higher. Uh, because you have the ability to check on the last server people have been on. That includes the server they are currently on. So basically, people all, all the mods have to do is do slash records, Joy Graceffa, and then they can able, they'd be able to follow him or Stacy into whatever server they're in. Now, technically speaking, mods aren't able or aren't supposed to abuse this power. Now, uh, there are ways of checking to see if you do abuse it, but uh, most of the time, uh, it's not necessarily a problem. And um, people seem to overstate how much of an issue it is when it's not really that bad if you're abusing it. At least uh, I never really abused it. I'm not really sure. I'm not a mod anymore. They could have been a, a, some extra scolding since uh, I've been there. I'm not really sure. Uh, this is just basically off personal experience. So basically, what happens is, let's say a couple of mods go into uh, follow Joey and Stacy into a server, and they are quote unquote jealous of them, and they go after them and kill them in the game. Now, while I'm, it may seem that uh, mods keep constantly doing this and they're just doing nothing but harm and annoying people in the videos, that's not necessarily all they do. Now, I understand that if you're, you you can be mad that you know your favorite YouTuber was killed by a mod, and it seems that mods are all mods are out to get your favorite YouTuber. It's not necessarily just that. Um, there's kind of like this thing, if you run into a famous person on the street, uh, you'll obviously remember that famous person and you'll keep them in your memory bank or whatever. This is kind of a, something that I'm just putting at the top of my head, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about right now. But basically, you obviously remember someone who is of high position or something when you, uh, you, know, when you talk to them. Uh, as opposed to, you're running in a crowd of tons of people that you don't uh, recognize and you don't know from any famous personality, so you just register them as a regular person. Same thing works with mods when you're running into a game. It seems that you'll point out a mod more than other play regular players because, you know, they have the big colorful per uh, salmon name, right? That's pretty much how it works. So if you have a mod who seems to constantly being able to, to kill that person, it seems that it does it more often because you remember it more. When it could just be just as much that a regular person does it as a mod does it. Now, um, my opinion in this whole thing is it's somewhere in the middle. I'm not necessarily mad that um, mods keep constantly killing Joy Graceffa, but I'm also kind of not super for it either. Basically, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter either way in a sense. It kind of balances itself out. If there's a, mo a team of three people coming after Joey, um, basically, most of the time, you will see a massive amount of fans following him, giving him stuff or whatever. He can play that game however he wants. Uh, preferably, I don't really team with fans, seeing as it's not as entertaining as just going around having a huge bloodbath. But, you know, he can play the game however he wants. I'm not one to judge. 
So technically speaking, him with that amount of team should be able to destroy a team of like three people. Now you may be uh, throwing up the argument that, well, the team of mods is better. Now, while that may be true, um, I can see that if Joey were to distribute uh, his items like around through his players, because if you could see, uh, it's not necessarily his fault. The fans just gave him all their stuff. But, um, you know, he'll be super stacked and all his fans will have, you know, near to nothing armor. Maybe if he distributed armor a little bit more evenly, he stayed with his fans more often, he could probably fight back a little bit more. Or, you know, he could just do, do what I do and not team with anyone and destroy everyone who is in his path. But, um... Uh, as opposed to mods falling around in servers, yes, it's somewhat of a problem, but there's no really way to stop it. Obviously, if you have the chance to run into a famous person that you know pretty much like once a week, you would probably do it. Um, now, people are saying, well, the mods do nothing but follow Joey around and kill him. We need new mods. Now, that's not necessarily true. If anything, we need more mods because um, the servers are actually growing quite big. If you might have noticed that they have added a couple more servers into the list. I think it was like 50 more i'm not really i think i think it was 50 more there's like 150 mcsg servers there's like a big sign about it uh, if you have the, the hub in your server list anyways we probably need more uh thing uh, more of them because basically if you if you guys don't necessarily see that many hackers the reason being is both the plugin uh codes against uh, hackers for the most part and the hackers that do make it through the plugin are actually banned by mods. You may not like think that they do that much help. They actually do. They might. You're, you're probably thinking, no, all they do is care about caps and stuff. Well, yeah, it's that's pretty much the only one you see because it's the most common. Um, there are a lot more things that happen, but uh, you know that's just pretty much the only one you see. Um, okay, so one other thing that I wanted to touch on is basically people uh, that are mods are abusing their commands and making shrieking noises, the shriek, shriek, shriek noise, as well as playing super annoying music over the um, over Joey when he plays. Now, actually, this isn't true. Uh, while uh, ghast sounds is what they are, as well as uh, music discs, which is through a command called slash music, and the uh, ghast sounds are through a, through a command called slash shriek, mods actually don't don't have access to those commands. Who has access to those commands are senior mods and higher. So basically, um, when they do it, it's not necessarily because I want to annoy the crap out of Joey or Stacy. Um, I'm doing. They are obviously doing it for the fun of it. Um, obviously, if you had the command to make you know shrieking noises and scare the crap out of people, you probably would do it every now and then. Even though you know sometimes it might get a little bit out of hand, but uh, you know in the end of it all, it's all in just good fun. So before you go blaming mods for doing a certain command, make sure you, uh, you know, you're educated on what commands mods can and cannot do. Uh, I'd say the worst command that they have access to that can be abused is slash records, but then again, it's really easy to follow someone into a server if you know what you're doing anyway. Um, and then, uh, just pretty much, I'm just reviewing everything, and if you see the same person going after this, the Joey and Stacey in every single video, the reason being is that he records a whole bunch of episodes all at the same time. And then my opinion being that it's somewhere in the middle, it, people shouldn't necessarily spend all their time trying to follow him while Joey may need to man up and you know try to get a little bit better at the game yeah I understand you know he's got a, a Mac and his FPS isn't the highest you know and his control schemes kind of weird but um, you know in, in the end it's a learning experience for everyone you can't be make everyone happy and uh, hopefully it's not necessarily an issue in the future and uh, hopefully you guys learned a little something about whether uh, mods are super abusing their power which not really are and uh, people just being annoying in general but you know people will be people it's the internet. You can do whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys, you know, I'm informing people because I, I remember seeing, if you probably saw me like on Joey's videos, leaving comments saying my opinion on a whole bunch of things because people are very, I'd say, I wouldn't say ignorant, but they are unaware of the whole situation. And uh, I, this video is pretty much just a public service announcement as to why it's not necessarily all what it appears to be, right? Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? But, um, yeah, so pretty much rant over. I'm going to kill all these people and hopefully win the game re relatively quickly. I thought my pretty much my ranting would take up an entire video, but I guess it didn't. So, whatever. Uh, you gotta kill this person. Gosh. How many arrows does it take to kill a person? I have a 14 of them. Might as well just take you out now. Ugh, come on. Don't do this to me. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna get closer and then I'm gonna kill them when with the arrows that approach sooner. I think they assume that I don't have any more arrows, but I do, so it sucks for you. Come on. Let me just get a little closer. Okay, I'm just going to shoot with arrows now. 
There's one. There's two. Alright, you're dead. Do you have anything that I need? I guess Golden Apple can do it. Four people left, so if as long as I can go find that other guy in a couple of seconds, I can go kill them and win the game. I'm trying to think of anything else that I'd like to touch on about the whole Joey Stacy con concept. Oh yeah, people who are telling me that um, I'm like a super cyber bully or something when I'm killing them. Um, honestly, I do it because it's like... Uh, I guess... I do it somewhat differently than most people. Uh, like I'll I'll try to protect them and keep them alive until deathmatch, and then I, I could consider it a fair fight because you know they're both coming after me, and I'm trying to kill them to the best of my ability, not killing them when their backs are turned and when they're super weak or something. But uh, I kind of make it seem kind of cruel because I kill them with nothing but fire. But I do that because it's funny. You know, if you guys saw my other video, it's for the sake of comedy. Um, yeah, but most of the time when I'm actually playing with them, I'm not recording. It's a whole bunch of videos and stuff. There's one that hopefully Joey will upload. It's um, where I pretty much kill him with um, nothing but... Um, wait, no, no. Uh, yeah, I killed Joey and Stacy in deathmatch with nothing but fire. Uh, I think me and... Uh, I don't know who else did it. It might have been Simone. It might have been Kaidemin. I don't know. But we killed them both with fire, and it was really funny. So um, I, didn't, I didn't record that. Um, someone told me that I, I just play with them for the sake of publicity. No, I just do it because it's funny sometimes. And, you know, people play because they want to have fun and stuff. And just please die. I know you're going to try to avoid my arrows for as long as possible. But you know you're dead. I have way better stuff than you. He's trying to get arrows so he could come back and fight me. But not going to happen. You're just going to die right here. Okay, he's just... Dang, he's just dodging those arrows. I have seven of them. That's enough to kill him. But, eh. I don't know. Maybe if I, uh... No, he's going to just go that way. Come on, come after me, sir, please. I'm, I'm pretending like I'm out of arrows. I know you have some, so, you know, just just chilling. Just chilling like a villain. Come on, come on, you won't die. Please, please die. I want to be your friend. Well, I don't really want to be... Okay, there's a guy over there. I could just take that guy out instead. But, uh, yeah. Oh, he's got... Oh, god dang it, I, he's got in the way. He's going to try to knock me off right into back into the water. That'd be smart of him, but I could just take out this fishing rod. And there you go. Boom. There you go. He's going to run away, but he's not going to get away too fast because I can just shoot him with arrows from up here. Sucks for you, but, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And a couple more shots should do you. I got six arrows. Can kill you. Ooh. Oh, wow. How, how, is, how am I missing? There we go. There we go. He's dead. Oof. I thought I was going to run out of arrows. Good job. Just the worst. Oh, well. He's pretty, he's pretty good at the game. I'm not going to lie. My hair is all screwed up. Good? We're good? Yeah, we're good. I'm still in that super hyper mood. It's the same day that I recorded yesterday's video, but, um, you know, I'm trying to get all the videos sorted for when I'm in Oregon and stuff, and I have, inc not including this one, I have to record six more, and I have today, tomorrow, and Sunday to do it. So three days to do six videos. I could do, what, two videos a day? Right? No, I'm, not, I'm not doing math good at all. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I could do that. I don't know. Math is... is are not necessarily the best. I'm probably going to do all those videos today because um, I just want to have like time to render, do annotations and stuff. So, yeah. There's only two people left, and we got 30 seconds till deathmatch and stuff. Yeah. Oh, um, I'd like to say this right now. Hopefully, um, you know, if you guys learned something from this video, you could probably tell someone else who might be ignorant of the situation or, you know, not aware of the whole situation and tell them and stuff about this video because I really don't like seeing hate, hate, tears us apart. We need to love to bring us together. This person has better stuff than me. I'm going to probably die. Okay, you, I'm just going to kill him. Okay, fine. Um, no no fun deathmatch, I guess. We, we're just going to win, and it's going to be bad. All right. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of MCSG with Tom Bad Heart. This for the person that I killed. And hope you guys have a nice day, please. Rah! I try, but I'm